I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with Father, what's your name? Mike Davis. And where are you from? I'm from Garcia's in Philadelphia. And first time here in Medjugorje, Father? This is my first time in Medjugorje. And how is the experience to be here? Uh, the experience so far is beautiful. We, I just arrived yesterday. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to going to Apparition Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I, I, I've learned mm -hmm. a little bit yeah. about Med Medjugorje, that Pope St. John Paul II sees it as the continuation of Fatima. Yeah. And, and so I, I hope to experience some of the phenomena that make that connection to Fatima. Mm -hmm. And um, you have a devotion to Our Lady? I do. Yes, I do. You pray the rosary? Yes, right. I pray the rosary daily. I'm, I'm the pastor of a Marian parish, Our Lady of the Assumption, or well, Assumption BVM in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. And um, why, can you explain a bit, people who don't know, a lot of people who don't know about the rosary prayer, what is the beauty for you about the rosary prayer? Well, the beautiful truth about the rosary, it's proven historically, mm -hmm. since it was established in the 13th century, to be a powerful spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Albigensian heresy was defeated because of devotion to the Holy Rosary. Yeah. The great battle, the battle of Lepanto, great naval victory in, in the 15th century, yes. you know, was attributed to the power of the Rosary. In our own day, many of our battles are spiritual battles, of course. Mm -hmm. and, and so the Holy Rosary is a tremendous spiritual battle. And a spiritual weapon against the battle, yeah. too. And you saw it in your life as well, that the prayer works? Oh, absolutely, I have. I, I, I have seen that. I, it's, you know, my, my devotion to the Blessed Mother helps mm -hmm. me to be a better priest, uh, a more giving priest. And, and especially, especially facing the, the challenges, mm -hmm. the, the facing the challenges of being a religious leader in our climate. Yes. That the, I find the Rosary, you know, Blessed Mother's intercession just really further empowers me mm -hmm. to uh, to be more apostolic in our present times. And more peace in your priesthood like that? Oh, I'm definitely more peace mm -hmm. in priesthood as well. And what would you tell, you know, in Medjugorje, confession is so, so important. Yes. What would you tell people who are scared to go to confession, think, what will the priest think of me? Maybe after 30 years they go to confession here. What would you tell these people? Yes. Oh, well, I would first say that there, there's no need to consider one unworthy mm -hmm. of God's mercy and God's grace. I, I suspect that that's one reason people shy away from the sacrament. I, I believe it lies in, in a rooted unworthiness that they're not worthy of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. and, and so what I say to them is to, is to take that first step back. Mm -hmm. So to experience peace, especially at the end of the celebration, when the priest says your sins are forgiven, now go in peace. Wow, and you have peace and you don't have to go to a psychiatrist or something, pay a lot of money? No, no, yeah. no, I don't, I don't need to do that. And you forget, no, you, because they think that the priest knows what I did. What yes. would you say to them? Oh, well, well as, a, as a confessor, the, I only listen long enough to the sins to be able to assign an appropriate penance. Yeah. And, and then it's out of my mind, I don't think about it after that. So beautiful what you say, Father. And a lot of people look for discernment here in Medjugorje. What do you give, what do you give them as a help to discern, to be a mother, father, priest, nun? Yes. Yeah, I believe the overall great encouragement mm -hmm. is that the, the Blessed Mother is real. Mm -hmm. And the Blessed Mother appears daily here mm -hmm. in, in Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus has generously given Mary to be our spiritual mother. Mm -hmm. He did not limit her motherhood strictly to himself. So generously has given Mary to be our mother too. She's also the mediatrix of all graces because only she can be a representative of God, mm -hmm. being Jesus' mother, and of us being fully human. So good to ask her basically for help, yes. guidance. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for that interview. You're welcome.